Hi, it's Ms. Diana from NACOG Head Start, and it's time for our morning greeting. We're going to start by singing Good Morning, Head Start Friends. Are you ready? Good morning, Head Start Friends, how are you? Good morning, Head Start Friends, how are you? It's time to start our day. We're here to work and play. Good morning, Head Start Friends, how are you? How are you? I wonder about how some of my friends are that I haven't seen in a while. And I want to wish them well. And you can too. So think of whoever you want to wish well. And then put all those warm thoughts and warm hugs in your heart. Take a deep breath with me. And wish them well. The other day, I went for a walk. And there were puddles of water and the ground was muddy. And I noticed that my footprints made a pattern. Left, and then right, and then left, and then right, and then left, like that. So then I started making a new pattern by taking one step, and then another step and putting my feet together and then taking another step and then putting my feet together again. So that made a different kind of pattern. So I thought we would make footprint patterns and you can help decide what comes next. Okay, I'm gonna sort out my footprints and I have some different colors too. What color was this one? Orange. What color is this one? Blue. What color is this one? Red. And what color is this one? Purple. <gasps> Let's do them in Spanish. What color is this one? Anaranjado. What color is this one? Azul. And this one, rojo. And this one, morado. You know what? I know sign language too. Let's do them again. Orange or anaranjado. Blue or azul. Red or rojo. Purple or morado. We just did our colors in three languages. Okay, here goes a pattern with blue and red. Are you ready? Do you see? It goes blue, red, blue, red. I'm going to start making them go this way so I can go longer. Let me turn it. Blue, red, blue, red, blue. What comes next? Did you say red? There's red. You were right. Okay. Gonna do another pattern. Okay. Purple or morado. Anaranjado or orange. Purple, morado. What comes next? Anaranjado or orange. Okay, let's make it a little trickier. I'm going to keep the purple up there. There we go. Purple, purple. Blue, 
Purple. Purple. What comes next? Purple, purple, blue. Purple, purple, blue. There we go. Shall we do another one? Let's see. What's the color we haven't used yet? Did we use all the colors? I think we used them all. What's your favorite color? I did purple twice because purple's my favorite color. How about we do blue again? Or should we do, oh, let's do three colors this time. So we'll do blue. Oh, we'll do my favorite again, purple. And we'll do red. Okay. And I need Okay, we've got blue, purple, red. Blue, purple, red. Blue, purple. And then what's next? Red. Ha, you got it. Let's do it in Spanish, okay? Azul, morado, rojo. Azul, morado, rojo. Azul, morado, rojo. Let's do it in sign language. Do you remember the sign language? This one is blue. That one is purple. That one is red. Blue. Purple. Red. Blue. Purple. Red. Did you have fun doing patterns with me? I had fun doing patterns with you. And if you are ever outside and the ground, you see that it's making patterns in the when you walk, you could even make patterns in the ground. See which ones you could come up with. As always, be safe, be helpful, and be kind. You can be safe when you're walking. If the ground is wet or muddy or snowy or icy, it could be slippery. So be careful and walk slowly. To be helpful, if you're carrying something, then you need to watch where you're walking and say, excuse me, if someone is in your way. And then to be kind, if you see someone else walking where the ground is slippery because it's muddy and wet or because it's icy or snowy, then remind them to be careful and to walk slowly. And if you see someone carrying something, you can always offer to help them. So be safe. Be helpful and be kind. Until next time, bye.